basically started surfing because I grew up around the sea. I used to have a beach hat down there on the beach and I guess my older cousin surf and my mum booked me in for a surf lesson in the Easter holidays. So yeah, I had one surf lesson. I was kind of hooked from then on. And I went end up going for the whole of the Easter holidays. And that was it really. Every weekend I was going for surf lessons. Places around the UK, if you go out at night, some people want to start fights and stuff. Here it's kind of laid back. Um, yeah, and everyone's nice and just want to meet new people, so. There's a lot of clubs in Bournemouth Town Centre, and uh, there's bars, there's these pubs down here in the bars, and just sort of go and have a couple of drinks, and it's good, it's good, it's chilled. It's a chilled out place to be. We've got Guy Penwarden, he's a local surfer, and yeah, he's like a local legend, really. He, he's in his 50s now, but he's still like one of the best surfers around here. They're always laughing and having a laugh, but the money side of it is very hard, like really hard, but other than that, we always think that you don't really need money. Yeah, it's a laid back lifestyle. When you really get in the water, you kind of escape your own, your own little world with friends. It's just a life, it's a good lifestyle, it's fun. That's pretty much all I can really say about it. <laughs> Too dirty, you don't really know. Start off with bigger boards. Don't watch all the videos and think you're going to be like Kelly Slater or somebody <laughs> straight away. Start off with something big and uh, don't run into me. <laughs> 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 and that's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much.